Consider this truss bridge. For structural analysis purposes, we can view it as a series of long slender members, connected to each other using frictionless pins. When a truss consists of only a few members, we can analyze it using hand calculations. Although truss analysis software systems are not a substitute for developing a working understanding of the principles of engineering mechanics, such tools provide a convenient alternative to hand calculations, especially for trusses with a large number of members. In this video, I am going to describe a truss analysis application program that we have developed for students. We call it iTruss. It uses the matrix displacement method to analyze two-dimensional indeterminate as well as determinate trusses. This presentation is divided into three parts. First, I'll provide an overview of iTruss. Second, I will illustrate how to use it to analyze a truss structure, and in the third part of the presentation, I will explain how you can download and install the program. iTruss is an interactive tool for analyzing two-dimensional trusses using the matrix displacement method. This tool provides several tabs for modeling trusses. For example, under this tab, you can enter the number of truss nodes and node coordinates. The number of members and member locations can be specified under this tab. The number of supports as well as support locations and types are specified under this tab. And, this tab is used for entering the number of loads and load positions, magnitudes, and directions. Upon entering new data, or updating an existing truss model, iTruss analyzes the structure and displays two types of results, nodal displacements, and member forces. Furthermore, iTruss can generate a report that shows some of the intermediate calculations. For example, you can have the report include the member stiffness matrices and the system stiffness matrix iTrust has been developed using MATLAB. If you have MATLAB on your computer, you can download iTrust as an application to be run inside MATLAB. Otherwise, you can download and install a standalone version of the tool on a Windows desktop. Before I explain how to download and install iTrust, let's have a quick tutorial on how to use the application. Suppose we wish to analyze this statically indeterminate truss. We start by numbering the nodes of the structure. In this particular truss, we have four of them. The location of each node can be specified using a Cartesian coordinate system. If we pick node 1 as the origin of the system, the X and Y coordinates of the four truss nodes can be tabulated, as shown here. Note that the truss has six members. We are going to identify each member using its end nodes, as depicted in this table. Furthermore, the truss rests on one pin and two roller supports. The position and type of each support are listed in this table. Finally, we can tabulate the applied loads as shown here. Having all this information, we are now ready to analyze the system using iTruss. We start by setting the system of units to the US customary system using this tab. Next, in order to enter the node coordinates, we select the nodes tab. When loaded, iTruss shows a default truss, but we can easily change the default values. In this case, we are going to change the number of nodes to 4. Then, we enter the X and Y coordinates for each node in this table. Once the node locations are correctly specified, we use the Members tab to update the number and location of the truss members. The truss supports can be specified in the same manner, using this tab. In this case, we have three supports, a pin support at node 1, a horizontal roller at node 2, and a vertical roller at node 3. Next, we use the loads tab to enter the two external loads that the truss must carry. Both loads are located at node 4. One of them makes a zero degree angle with the horizontal axis, 
and the other one is a downward force making a negative 90 degree angle with the x-axis. Finally, we use the properties tab to specify the modulus of elasticity and cross-sectional area of the truss members. This concludes the modeling part of the process. Now we can view the nodal displacements of the truss under this tab. We can also examine the member forces and support reactions using this tab. Note that the member forces are tabulated here, and the support reactions are shown graphically on this diagram. iTrust can place all the input and output data as well as some intermediate analysis steps into a PDF file. To create such a file, we use the Report tab. Check the items that you want to be present in the report, then press the Generate PDF button. The system provides a visual status report as the PDF file is being generated. Once the file is ready, you can access, view, and print it. As you can see, iTruss is an easy-to-use tool for analyzing statically determinate and indeterminate trusses. We have developed it exclusively for students, we hope you find it useful. Now that we know how to use iTrust, let's see how you can download it, install it, and run it. Two versions of iTrust are available for download, a MATLAB application version, and a standalone Windows application version. The first version, the MATLAB application version, runs inside MATLAB only. You need to have MATLAB on your computer to be able to run the iTrust MATLAB application. If you don't have MATLAB, you can install and use the standalone Windows version of iTrust. Let's start with the MATLAB application version and see how we can download and install it. You can download MATLAB iTrust from our website. Enter this URL in your browser to download the zip file that contains the MATLAB application installer. There are two installers in the zip file, one for the MATLAB application and one for the standalone Windows application. To install the MATLAB application, double-click on this icon to open MATLAB and install iTrust. If the installation is successful, you will see the iTrust icon in the MATLAB Apps tab. Click on the icon to run the app. Please note that iTrust has been developed using MATLAB version 2019b. The application is not going to run properly on the older versions of the software. If you are running an older version of MATLAB, you need to either upgrade it to version 2019b, or use the standalone version of iTrust. The installer for the standalone version of iTrust is in the zip file that you have downloaded already. Double-click on this file to initiate the installation. The installer performs two tasks. 1. It downloads the necessary MATLAB runtime libraries from the MathWorks website and installs them on your computer. These libraries are needed for running standalone applications created using MATLAB. This step may take a few minutes because the MATLAB runtime libraries are close to 1 GB in size. 2. After the successful installation of the runtime libraries, iTrust is going to be installed. Given that the application program is an executable file, Windows and your antivirus software may raise a red flag suggesting a suspicious executable file. To be able to install and run iTrust, the warnings need to be ignored. The file is virus-free. We have tested iTrust on several computer systems. Our tests indicate that depending on the speed of the processor inside the computer, the standalone version of iTrust takes between 9 to 20 seconds to load. The application has an average load time of 12 seconds. This is consistent with the amount of time it generally takes to load MATLAB itself. Once the application is loaded, you will be able to model and analyze trusses with an insignificant lag time. Make sure you check out the report generation capability of the system. It provides analysis details that you may find useful for better understanding the matrix displacement method of structural analysis. If you are viewing this video on YouTube, feel free to post your questions or comments concerning the use of iTrust below.